So Thailand with the advantage after the men's doubles. But a couple of cracking singles matches to come. First off, women's singles as Rachanok Intanon takes on Yip Pui Yin. And what should be a terrific game. World number five up against the uh, player from Hong Kong who herself has been in the top ten of the world. Not having uh, the best of years, Yip Pui Yin. Where you must say, Rachel Intenong, not that she's had too many years, she's only 18, is having a terrific one. We've already seen one talented women's singles player in her teenage years produce some terrific shots today in PV Sindhu of India. A year older than her, Rachel Intenong is making big waves. Now, you already made a statement today, Jill, where you said you reckon uh, PV Sindhu will be a top five player in the world. How about this one, then? Could this young lady here be at world number one? Simple answer. Yep. Yes. I had a feeling you might say that. Yep. Enormous talent. An absolute delight to watch. Her movement around the court, coupled with... A wonderful, relaxed, easy hitting motion. And that relaxed hitting style in itself creates a lot of deception. But her skills and her vision, her tactical awareness, this young lady from Thailand has it all. She really does. She is the real deal. Referee uh, Chen Chi Shin of Chinese Taipei just going through the formalities with the players. Thailand here in terms of you look at the way these two young ladies have, have played this year should only really be one winner but maybe if we in can be inspired by playing for her country here she's always been a player that's been able to produce the big result I can remember a few years ago she reached the final of the Asian Games in Doha. Silver medalist from the Asian Games. She beat Jiang Nin in the quarter uh, final stage. And of course, Jiang Nin, Olympic champion at the time. So she's always been able to have the big result. What Yip Puyi Yin hasn't been able to do is follow it through all the way through the tournament. Whereas this young lady managed to do that obviously very recently when she won her first Super Series title at the India Super Series event. And fulfilling the potential because of three times World Junior Champion. It's uh, a big step up, isn't it, from Junior Badminton, even if you've won world titles, to, to playing on stages like this. But she's done it quite naturally. Yes, and let's not forget, she didn't play in the World Junior Championships last year. She's not going to play in the World Junior Championships this year, though she's still eligible. And she's already won the World Junior title three look times. At, look at that win-loss ratio this season from mm. Yip Wee Yim. One victory to her name. This is a, a player who reached the quarterfinals at the Olympics. Yep. So it doesn't bode well. They have met six times, three wins apiece, but the telling stat really is that as you can see, Rachanok won the last meeting at the Swiss Open last year. She's actually won all three of their last meetings, all of them in 2012. Yes, and all in straight games. And I think she's on a real roll, isn't she? I mean, three finals from her last four tournaments. That Indian Super Series title that we've already mentioned but, of course, a beaten finalist at the All England Championships, losing out to Tina Baum, beaten finalist at the Swiss Grand Prix the and following week. And she was unbeaten all week at the Axiata Cup as well, wasn't she? Yeah. When uh, Indonesia reached the final uh, against Thailand. Ready. So the Omens don't look too good, do they, for we in but as we've been saying, on the big stage, she can produce a big result. But uh, I'm really just looking forward to watching Rachanok play because, as you say, there's a certain grace about her. She is a delight to watch. 
Yeah, you just somehow with some athletes in various different sports, they have an aura about them. They, it's not that she's arrogant or cocky or anything, but she just oozes confidence. You know that she is champion material. You ready? Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Hong Kong, China, represented by Yap Tui Ying. And on my left, Thailand, represented by Indanong Ratchanong. Thailand to serve, Lavo Hey. Service over, one love. It's over. One all. Rally going ah! and then plays a delightful shot cross court and drop Stolver. shot. Two, that one. was classy. Yeah, never been adverse to throwing herself around the court in an effort to retrieve the shuttle. But it's not only the dive that impresses me, she's up again so quickly. And then she can play shots like this as well. Yeah. It's fair to say the uh, the opening rubber, the men's doubles was a bit of a tepid affair, really. Oh! But uh, already we're seeing a higher Three, caliber, four. really, of badminton in this in this second rubber. taken four three good control of the smash straight down the line Oh, just the start Three. that Yip Wee In was looking for here. She's been very solid. She's played one or two delightful shots. She's forcing Rocha Nock into Eris. Service over. Four, six.
Oh, good. Service over. Seven, five. Just saying if uh, the Queen could uh, not shout before the shuttle has landed. Ah! That's very, very good net play. Eight, two, five. So, what we're seeing here early on, Jill, is it is actually not just not got going yet, or is Yip Bui in playing at some high standards here. A bit of both, I think, to be honest. But this is as, you know, I was talking about a little earlier on. Yip Bui in, in one, any one off match can beat any other player in the world if you can beat a reigning Olympic champion. No! I mean, look at these kind of shots. You wouldn't believe no! she's lost nearly no! every match. That she's played in so far this year, and if she, in, in looking at her, you wonder why is she lost nearly every match. Obviously, she's got to maintain it throughout the next uh, well, 40 minutes, hour maybe. It's no question she's got the skills. It's always been a question of consistency or lack of it. Service over. Ten, nine. Back level, close the four, four point deficit, then to serve wide. Seem on nine, top of her game here at the moment. Does she ratchet up into on? But full credit to Yip Bui Yin. She's uh, doing the business and has the advantage at the interval. 11 points to nine. Okay. Interesting, the Hong Kong coach that's just leaving the court. She uh, okay. is Wang Chen, and the player that actually beat Yip Pui in, in those Asian Games final in Doha. 11, 9. 
Tactics right so far. And we're going to see uh, an astronaut here just uh, wake up a little. Don't do that well. Service over. 10 11. Yeah, she doesn't quite seem at the races, does she? You know what I mean, though, by needs to wake up in it up. She seems a little hesitant. Really. Service over. Well, oh. Well, she's got it back level again here, and not into not. Not quite good that. She uh, used a poor serve. Oh. That's better. Thirteen. Well. Very expressive little character, isn't she? Yet we and <laughs> oh. have to produce a few here, Ratcha, not to get into this rally, and she ends up winning the point. Fourteen, twelve. Yeah, worth the effort. She was all over the place in the start of that rally. Service over. 13, 14. didn't she? <laughs> Service over. 15, 30. Exactly what she's thinking, don't you? <laughs> Very expressive. And suddenly, 16, she's 30. three points ahead, Ratchanok, without really having produced her best badminton. Wang Chen on the right as we look at them. It's the lady I was talking about to beat this. Uh, Yip Pui Yin in the final of the Asian Games in Doha. Johnny Solver, 14, 16.
16. Very athletic style of play, Yip Yin. The jump smash. And then moving quickly to play the round the head shot rather than play the backhand. I remember her once telling me that she really loves watching Lynn Dam play and wants to try and play the same sort of style. Wouldn't we all? <laughs> very good point. But I'll tell you what, she's a, she's a very effervescent player on court, isn't she? Doesn't keep still for too long. And she's showing, even though that one's long here. Over. And she is trading in this opening 17, set. 15. She has the game. It's almost, you know, you mentioned the Asian Games, and, you know, reached the quarterfinal of the Olympics. When the stakes are high, it's when she's at her most focused. Yeah, big tournament player because she followed up the uh, 2006 Asian Games with a bronze medal at the 2010 Asian Games in Guangzhou, <laughs> beating the number two seed, Simon Awal, in the quarterfinal stage. 16, 17. Using her best form week in, week out in the circuit of tournaments, the Super Series, seems to be more of a problem for her. Yeah, I mean, you can understand that she's not, you know, going to make finals or semi finals every week, but to only get past the first round once. 18, 16. I mean, just watching her game, it doesn't seem right. No, no, I agree. Shot. It wasn't a lift, it wasn't a net shot. It really got what it deserved. Service over. 18, 19. Service for a call. Oh, what a time. Service over. Oh, yep. We complains to the 20 game point service 18. judge there. Sudip Bharat of uh, India, but he's not going to change his mind. It's uh, service for and it brings up game points for uh, Rachamak Indra. Save one of them. Service over. 19, 20. And on the balance of play, she'd be uh, very unfortunate here if we didn't actually lose this game. Their best badminton for the 
very last point of that game. Rachanot Intenon just about Tyler. doing enough. 21, 21 points to 19. She takes the opening game against uh, Yip Wee Yin. We battled hard and for a while. Looked like she might emerge on top. Hot one, 20 seconds. Hot one, 20 seconds. Well, more of the same. That's what uh, Yip Wee needs. Second game. Level three. There was a different level of intensity, wasn't there, about that last point there for Ratchanok Intenok. Uh, to take this first game, 21 points to 19. Yeah. One lock. Over. Two, one. Margins between success and failure, absolutely tiny. Hardly holding the top of the tape and falling back her side. Mm. Service over. Well done. Two, oh. It's fair to say that at Thailand they're going to need the, the best of. Rachinok Hinton on this week if they are to progress to a, a best Sudamin Cup. Three, two. Just about doing enough here tonight. Has the drift changed? I don't know. No, that was out by a long way, though, wasn't it? Yeah, well, the shuttle has been, uh, certainly on this afternoon session, the shuttle was flying quicker coming towards us. The long of that far back line seems extraordinary. And as you say, it's so far long. Four, five, three. I don't know if her biorhythms are out or she got out the wrong side of bed this morning. She looks such a natural, graceful player whenever I've watched her before. And today, just things aren't coming as easy to her. No. 
Yeah, we all have off days, and sometimes there's just no explanation for it. Look, that, that backhand went long. That's, that's got to be different from this afternoon. Yeah, maybe so. Bigger crowd in, of course, this evening. I wonder if they've switched on more air conditioning. A bigger crowd in there because uh, Malaysia in action as well, although they're not having the best of time at the moment in their uh, match against Chinese Taipei. Good lead here for if we in, in this second set. Can she maintain it? And when it's landed in right on the line. So it's over. Four. And it's four seven. points in a row. shot oh my goodness she's taken it well the indecision at the back of the court from Rachino Quinton on cost her dear look she's going to leave it suddenly I'm sure that was going long I, I think it was as I say she's just you know as you say some days you just you can't be at your best all the time and she is young and incredible really she has been as consistent as she has been and also, you, you can see a class of a play when they're not at their best and they can still win, which she could yet achieve. Yeah, but you very rarely see it as in one as young as she is, which is why she is such an extraordinary player and why I believe she's going to go the whole way right to the top of World Badminton. Drop shot from the three in. Ten, five. Yeah, I mean, we shouldn't take anything away from the way Yip Wee In is playing here either. Well, that's a pretty good lead, isn't it? For if we in in this second set, Chinook into not suddenly got a work cut out. Eleven, 
the shoulder. Seven, eleven. And that bothers me, to be honest, Richard. You know, <laughs> there you had a nice lead, five-point lead at the mid-game interval. Very next rally, you come out, you make an error, but you don't look so disappointed with yourself. You're still in the lead. To, to really show that to your opponent that you're really fed up with your unforced error, all of a sudden gives your opponent encouragement. And all of a sudden, Ratchinok's won another quick point. But as you said before, she's that kind of... <laughs> yes, you yes. Know, you, you know every shot, good and bad. Yep. It's a difficult thing to stop yourself from being, but you're right, it does. It does have its negative effects and... Give some encouragement to Rachinok in Zidon. And she's won three in a row now. 11. Well, I've seen a few players today end up winning from sitting positions on the court. Nothing that Ten, we need to do about that. Again. Service over. 12. She has obviously hasn't learned Jordan. No. But you know, it's just going through my mind, Richard, about, you know, uh, the four points prior to that error on serve, the four points since the mid-game interval had all gone in favour of Ratchanuk. And, and I know you've made a very good point that uh, Yip Hui Yin, that's the sort of character she is. She expresses herself. You know when she's happy. You also know when she's disappointed in herself. But, you know, as a player, half the time I'd get my encouragement from looking at my opponent. And if I saw they were down just slightly, I always said to myself, right, come on now. Put the pressure on. They're really struggling. You know, and, and I'm sure that it does have an effect. It can't help but have an effect on your mental approach to the next few rallies. of the last seven points. Yeah, from 11-6 to 12 each. And how much is that rush and not stepping it up? Or we in, as you say, getting a little frustrated. And in this match, she hasn't been second best, really, if we in, but every chance for the fourth time in a row. She could well lose this in straight sets to... 18 year old. And indecision again, this time on the backhand. 13, 12. Yeah, 
decision again, wasn't it? Service over. 14, 13. And it's not just happens once or twice in this match for a up. Yeah, it really didn't. You know, you've sent your opponent the wrong way. Didn't need to be that tight to the net. Even disappointed with if, that. If you didn't know, you'd have thought she lost the point. Exactly. She knows she probably shouldn't have lost the point, but and that's not what I get. Service over. 14 oh. Second set. Service over. Fifteen O. Leading now, matching up after the 11 6 down at the interval. Well, I thought it was on the line. The uh, line judge felt it was in. John Jill, you feel it was out, do you? N no, I, I just. Oof, well, looking at it again. I wasn't quite so sure. Yeah, we're a couple of weeks away from uh, video referrals. 17-15, four points from victory for the teenage type. Eighteen, fifteen. Just keeps it tight, keeps it in at the right moments in the match. And a little bit of frustration once again from Yip Hui Yin. Well, she's making it look fairly easy now, isn't she, Ratchanok? But she was certainly making hard work of it earlier.
Over. So long from Yipui. Twenty match point. And as you can hear, match points have arrived for Rachanok Intonon. And Thailand on the verge to going two to the good here. Maybe not at the best. Yeah. Well, not a very best at least, but good enough to get the job done here. If we in with flashes of brilliance, beaten as Rachanok Intonon, the world number five, takes the match in straight sets. Match won by Thailand. Just got to those vital 19, points in both sets, didn't we, Jill? And Rachanok stepped it up just that, that little bit that was needed. Yeah, and that's the real class of her. As you say, Richard, she wasn't at her best today, but good enough. And plays the big points so well. And that's the big difference between champions and contenders. There, confirmation of the score. 40 minutes of play. 21-19, 21-16. Well, welcome back to the uh, Putra Arena. Looking good so far for Thailand, isn't it? Yeah. Rachanok Intanon taking that win in singles in straight sets. So the first two matches have gone Thailand's way. Next up, as you can see, it's the men's singles. Jill has uh, vacated her position. And delighted to say, coming alongside me for the uh, final three matches of this Group B match is uh, Morton Frost. Delighted to be back. Yeah, nice to be back alongside you, Morton. <laughs> yes. It's been a little while. Yes, it has. Uh, about two years, I think. So, time flies. Well, the uh, Hong Kong team need a little bit of uh, inspiration. And uh, one man who's been playing pretty well this year and been around a while but he has up for a career high now of up to fifth in the world rankings here's the man just at the back there in the red shirt Gu Yun. and uh, well he'll fancy maybe he can get them off the mark taking on 
uh, Bunsak Ponsana. Both players have been in pretty decent form. We should have a, a good match to watch it. I think so. I'm kind of a favourite of uh, Bunsak. I think he, he's a delightful player. It looks really good with he, what he's doing. But uh, I must say that uh, sometimes I'm a little bit disappointed in, you know, the, the promise is bigger than he's actually delivering. But uh, on occasions he plays absolutely fantastic. Well, both these players have been uh, around a while. For this match is uh, for Eric Olsen and Ben Mark. He looks very efficient, doesn't he? He does. <laughs> My fellow Dane. Yeah, a lot of Danes around at the moment, isn't there? Mr. President? Mr. President, yes. Yeah, Paul Eric Hoyer Larsen now is uh, just elected yesterday. So that was a bit of a surprise. You weren't <laughs> expecting that? No, I, honestly, I did not expect it, but uh, a huge congratulations to him. Been a disappointing evening so far for Malaysia, but um, in singles match out there at the moment, Lee Chong Wei doing the business. He is looking easy, but plays uh, well. They lost the first two rubbers there, so it's uh, not the start the uh, hosts were looking for. But uh, we're looking at Bunsot Pansana. He's uh, eighth in the world, has been as uh, high as uh, number four. As yeah. I say, been around a while. Yeah. Got to the semis of the Indian Open last time out, lost to the man I just mentioned, Lee Chong Wei. Yeah. Called a finalist at the Asia Badminton Championship, pushed Chen Long into three games. So he's in decent nick. 30 years of age, and this man, a couple of years older from China. But uh, representing Hong Kong, sixth in the latest world rankings, was at five, which was a Hong Kong record. 